In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring PIM sparse dense mode on our network. We're going to start off with the baseline show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see if PIM has already been configured on the network. And then we're going to enable the debug IP PIM command so we can see how things unfold when we enable PIM sparse dense mode on our network. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and interface to see how things have changed from the baseline when we enabled PIM sparse dense mode on our network. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling PIM sparse dense mode on the link here between router 2 and router 3 and only on this link right here. So let's get started. Start off with our show commands of show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface and this is this interface here Ethernet 01 is the interface on router 2 that goes over to router 3. And as you can see here with the, the output that we have the columns but we do not have any information underneath there which tells us that PIM is not running at all on this interface or it doesn't have a neighbor adjacency across the way and the same thing with the show IP, PIM, show IP PIM interface over to, this is the interface over to router 3, we don't have any information there either. So I'm going to enable the debug IP PIM command so that we can see how things unfold as we configure sparse dense mode here on our network. And the way you do that is you go underneath the interface that you want to enable PIM on and then you execute the command IP PIM and then what PIM type of PIM that you want to run in this case with this video cheat sheet we want to enable sparse dense mode. And that's really all there is to it. Go underneath the interface and then execute the command IP PIM sparse dense mode. So we'll go ahead and do that. We should, should get a lot of debug output. And there it goes right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a show IP PIM uh, interface real quick. Well, Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip that step. I will, I will come back to that later here after we go over to router 3. So I'm going to go over to router 3 and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go underneath the interface on router 3 that goes back to router 2 and I'm going to execute the same command IP PIM sparse dense mode to enable sparse dense mode on that interface and hopefully a PIM adjacency will come up between router 2 and 3 on this interface. And right here it already has. We see that router 3 now has an adjacency over to router 2 on the interface that we just configured sparse dense mode on. So but let's go ahead and verify that with our our show commands here of show IP PIM neighbor and show IP PIM interface and once again this is the interface on router 3 that goes back over to router 2. So when I do a show IP PIM neighbor, we have our neighbor over to router 2 like we saw earlier going out the interface over to router 2. And when I do a show IP PIM interface on the interface that goes over to router 2, I see that my mode, I have a neighbor count of 1, which is router 2, and I see that my PIM mode here is SD, which stands for sparse dense. So it looks like everything has taken the way that we wanted it to. So let's go back over to router 2 and verify, turn debugging off with the unall command. So let's go back over to router 2 and make sure that router 2 sees the same thing that router 3 sees. Because remember earlier we did not have any output here with our baseline show commands. And now with our show IP PIM neighbor we have a neighbor adjacency over to router 3 out the interface over to router 3 and with the show IP PIM interface that goes over to router 3 where we have a neighbor count of 1 and we also see that the mode is sparse dense. So that is how you enable uh, IP PIM sparse dense mode on a, on a network and specifically on an interface. You uh, enable the command IP PIM sparse dense mode. That's all there is to it. So we started off with our baseline commands and we saw that PIM was not running. We then enabled PIM sparse dense mode on our network and then we then verified that our neighbor adjacencies came up.